Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White Version. Today I've got another special guest with me. Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost, and I'm going to join Matt today for uh, some Pokemon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, last episode we managed to catch ourselves two new Pokemon, which I did on the screen there real quick. We caught ourselves a Blitzel and a P-Dove. And now we're getting into another Pokemon battle. And yeah. radiate good vibes. Is it okay if I see how you raise them? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, really. It's Any just not creepy at all. Anyways, it's it's uh, thanks to Lester here that we've got this new background on this video. Yep, made it myself. And I, had to show <laughs> and I thank you for it. I'm going to be using it for a long time now. <laughs> yep. So, Something anyways... Uh, people who wanted that. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, this Blitzel here that I just caught, I was training it, and it learned Shockwave, which is a very powerful move. Yeah, if, really good electric type move right now. Yeah, it uh, doesn't this move. It doesn't miss, does it? No, it's always gonna hit, no matter yeah. how much evasion that uh, Pokemon has. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a it's an electric version of Swift, more or less. Anyways, yeah, I, and I think in my opinion, it's more powerful though. Yeah. Anyways, this Blitzel here is gonna be a star player for uh, <laughs> quite some time until I get a new electric Pokemon. So. Anyways, this is that P-Dub I caught earlier. It's level 12, too. The HD Elder looks like an Elder, so it fits. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah. I named him after my friend HD Elder, so... <laughs> it fit, yeah. I guess. Anyways, uh, I noticed it while I was training that this uh, P-Dub has an ability called Big Pex. Which, uh... <laughs> even though it's kind of... being a funny name. Yeah, but besides <laughs> being a funny name, it, uh, it makes it so he... Never his defense stat is never lowered. And this lily yeah, puff, that's oh really my good. <laughs> you know when we were talking about this yesterday about how my emulator was lagging so bad. Oh, uh, when God, I was, yeah. Gosh, just bad. Yeah. Anyways, well, you need to still try that uh, new coding I sent you. Uh, yeah, I need to. Have to try that out later. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. yeah. Help Anyways, with all the technical issues. That's what I'm here for. I'm the techie. <laughs> um, like every single time, I'm, I'm in school or something, and someone needs help. Like one of the teachers needs me to help set up the projector. First thing I hear, Lester can do it. <laughs> you assume. <laughs> I don't mind. It's just now you guys assume it. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, okay, that was really fast. I forgot how fast those texts go. Here, give this Not to your precious Pokemon. Recording. Yeah, it doesn't go that fast on the recording at all. Anyways, we got an orange berry. All Yay, that for an orange berry. This is, yeah, this, this was like, what, a 15-minute battle in the recording? Oh, <laughs> it ended God. up being like two minutes altogether in the actual video. Anyways, we got we this. We were supposed to do this like uh, night before, and the recording was going on so long, I couldn't stick around long enough. It was that bad. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to switch over to my Snivy because we're actually... I forgot to mention this. We were going to save this uh, little girl's Pokemon that got kidnapped by Team Plasma. They went in there. Yeah. Matt, are your Pokemon healthy and prepared? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Do you want to do the voice acting for the Team Plasma grunts, Lester? I could try, but some of it's kind of like lagging behind, so it might be like two seconds behind. Okay. Nothing getting through these annoying punks. Corpse like you can't control Pokemon? You feel sorry for the Pokemon pitiful plight, huh? Well, just hold out your Pokemon for Team Plasma. No, no! We have to fight him! No. I, I, like I mentioned before when I was doing the recording of this, I really like the music for Team Plasma. It's really catchy. Yeah. I heard some of the music of, of Team Plasma. It, it is pretty good. I really also like that Team Galactic theme. They got a lot better with the main villain's theme music anymore. That's yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, they I really did. Love these games. I think, in my opinion, it all started with uh, with uh, Team Magma and Team Aqua theme. I like that theme a lot too. That was a pretty good theme. I still gotta go back and play Ruby again because I tried playing it before and some some odd reason I stopped like halfway through. Never picked it up again. <laughs> I, I've been like that with some of my Pokemon games recently. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, like I. You're not not any better than me. I can't train it like I told you before. I can't train a Pokemon to level 100. I, I lose yeah. patience after a while. 
And I think like the reason why I did when I uh, like five years ago I trained up my one team I use now to level 100, it's because I was so in the Pokemon then. So I never stopped playing it, and I always played it. I always grinded. That's how I actually got to level 100. <laughs> how can we lose when they're wow. right? It's all right. How are you doing? It? <laughs> well done, Matt. Now, now hand over the Pokemon that you took from that girl. But wait, we ain't we running. Turning nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a mess. Don't you get in our way if you got no reason in your heads. Us two will be your opponents. Once you see our amazing union, you'll just know we're right. And there are more? Even so, you're nothing more than Pokemon thieves. Matt, let's show them what a childhood duo can accomplish. And this is actually one of the coolest parts in the game. You actually do get to do a tag battle with Sharon. So Yeah, I always liked it when you get the tag uh, battle with one of your rivals. That was always one of my favorite parts of the Pokemon games. Yeah, like uh, like I mentioned last night, I said my favorite part of the game was the climax of uh, Diamond and Pearl whenever you fought with uh, your rival against uh, Team Galactic or Admins at Spear Pillar. Yeah, I remember that. I actually liked that, yeah. it, like that climax of the game. It oh, was, and I it was amazing. This, turn. this was a wasted turn. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we, <laughs> we, one of the, one of the Patrite used uh, detect, which is a move that uh, protects itself. And both uh, Sharon's Tepig and my Snivy attacked that Patrite that was protecting itself. So it was a wasted turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then this guy decides to use bind. Yeah. Hopefully that won't do anything. Yeah. I cannot remember from that. It likes to use bite a lot, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's not that bad of a move to use, anyways. Yeah. Good flinching. Yeah. And yeah, there goes that patch right. There you go. Now I can't use detect anymore. <laughs> I get so annoyed in that move anymore. Yeah, detect. No one can use Have you ever used that move, faint? Uh, I think once, but I'd never use it properly. Well, well, the move I'm talking about in question is it's the only attack that can uh, go past the protect moves, like detect and yeah. uh, protect. So yeah, see, I, I think I used it only like once before, but it was in a bad time. Yeah. It's like best to do that when you really need to hit the opponent. I just did that. I think it's just a quick shot or something. Yeah. Just because I wasn't sure what the move would do, I got confused about the move. Oh yay! Uh, Snipey's going to evolve in one more level. Oh, can't wait. And you know what? I haven't even explained the evolving process to my viewers yet. <laughs> it's yeah, so I haven't funny. seen it yet. Yeah. Oh. Yeesh, you guys are a real pain. They're always a pain. What reason could there ever be for to steal someone's Pokemon? None, that's what. Trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. Like how are, how are uh, trainers making Pokemon suffer? That doesn't make sense at all. Like I said... Fainting. <laughs> Fine, have your Pokemon back. But it's such a pity that I'll be abused by people. You realize you'll fully someday. Like I mentioned before, <laughs> <laughs> there exist trainers that can show the true power of Pokemon. And there are Pokemon that believe in, in and even respond to trainers. Given that, how could Pokemon be pitiable? I just don't get it. Now then, Matt, I'll just go back. I'll go give that poke back that Pokemon. Gosh, I can't talk today. <laughs> anyway, I'm not any better. <laughs> yeah, Sharon's heaven is a. Uh... Oh, speaking of which, uh, while we're oh. here in this cave, we're going to catch some Pokemon. The first being this Woo Bat here. Now I mentioned uh, Lester was kind of surprised when I was talking to him last night about this. This is actually a Psychic Flying type Pokemon. It does not look like it. it looks like it could be a Poison type. Cause usually. That's what this kind of thing could look like. Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's this generation Zubat, but it's a Psychic type, which is really weird. So if you want a good Psychic Pokemon, well, here he is. And these are really and common creatures. A lot. Yeah, you do. They're them. just like uh, okay. And actually, so it's basically... evolved. Evolved form is a. Uh, it's it's evolved by friendship. So. Oh jeez, I hate when they do that. I know. Yeah, but basically people ah. were complaining before, like, when they heard this, Hey, no more Zubats. We get Woobats instead. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if that's any better. Oh, no, the train's coming. 
Oh no! I don't know, I, I barely heard it. Yeah, of oh, course oh, a train would come while I'm recording this. Go away, Steve, no one likes you. Yeah. <laughs> Go away, Steve. <laughs> Anyways, we caught ourselves a woo bad. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> It's sprite just looks so freaky to me. I know it does. <laughs> Why am I giving? It looks like it has that dirt face. Yeah. Oh yeah. I accidentally I was like... <laughs> accident. Anyways, there's <laughs> actually that. two Pokemon in this dungeon in this uh place that I want to catch. Uh, the first being Woobat and the second being a Disgenerations Geodude. Let me see if I can find him real quick. Nope, it's another yeah. Woobat. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that I just found a bat right before I left, because this is the point where I just saw, so everything else, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. And, and I didn't record that much record, after but... you left, too, so... Oh! Yeah. And this is another one of those uncommon Pokemon I mentioned before. This is a Drillbur. He's actually a really rare Pokemon to find now, at, at this point in the game. It, because you guys saw that uh, dust cloud that appeared in the cave... That's another indication of a, uh, um, what was it? An uncommon Pokemon. And my Snivy just fainted. Crap. Dang it. <laughs> I have to use my water Pokemon Jeez. now. <laughs> I should have used a potion. Yeah. Use Mud Slap. Oh my gosh, that move is so annoying. I hate it so much. I know. It, it lowers you. It, that's the exact reason why. Mud Slap make, uh, lowers your accuracy, so it makes it harder to hit your, your moves to hit. Really? Why did you use Mud Slap? Using electric moves on yeah. you. Come yeah. on. We can't electric, even. Let's just the computer AI. Yeah, we can't it's even because uh, electric po electric moves won't work on him. He's a ground type. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it annoys me when I see the computer AI being that stupid. I know. Anyways, let's uh, try catching him again. Yeah. Hope it doesn't break through your Pokeballs. Hey, come on, one. Nope, it broke out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For some odd reason, when I was a kid, I heard this for some odd reason. Like, if you hold down the B button, it would make it easier. To I know, that's Pokemon. what I always that's believed, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it a is myth, a myth. But ever since I heard that, I've always done it for some reason, just as a good luck charm. I'm just going to use I a Great Ball here. A video I recorded of uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah. Oh, it's so close. Yeah. Really? I... Uh, and like, like the like the text oh. said, oh, okay, just just had it. <laughs> uh, that happened. <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on, Jeff Rocks here. Okay. Come on. Yes. Yay, Yay. we caught him. Finally. After but, I don't know, that, that was like a minute or two. Not bad. Yeah, I know. So, I need to go get more Pokeballs after this episode's done. Yeah, right. I know. I'll Look, like, if you weren't going for all the Pokemon, then you wouldn't have to worry about it too much. I haven't done that in quite some time, actually. I know. Anyways, here's that last Pokemon I mentioned earlier. It's this generation's Geodude. Oh, but, wow, that looks like a Pokemon from the 4th gen. I know. But you know what the good thing about this is? You can use Electric-type moves on him. He's just Rock. He's not Rock Ground. Oh, wow, that's, that's actually pretty rare to see anymore. I know. I actually, uh, I haven't showed off uh, Zelda Master 915's Pokemon I named after real quick, so I'm gonna use it real quick. It's actually a really good psychic Pokemon if you want one. Is a uh, Muna. He evolves yeah, into um, a really good Pokemon. It's called Musharna. You have to use a Moonstone to give all of it though. Eh, that's not bad. Usually yeah. they give you a lot of those stones in the game anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I think I have like a. Uh, Three or four moonstones are any Pokemon yellow, and I'm up past the halfway point by like one gym. So, <laughs> that's yeah, a, that's they, give a, yeah, they do give you a lot. Anyways, we caught Rog and Rolla, and we're pretty much done in this cave, so let's get out of here. Alright, finally. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing something <laughs> that most LPers don't do. I'm actually trying to catch a lot of Pokemon. Oh! And that's good, because that makes your LP a bit uh, original. Yeah. <laughs> Max, I am truly grateful. You two took back the Pokemon together. I just, I'm just so glad to be friends with Matt and Sharon. Okay, why did she have to say my name and like I'm not here? Yeah, Th that was kind of weird. Person. Anyways, well, we get a heal ball. Yeah, the little kid gave us a heal ball, which is, in my opinion, the most useless if you have yeah. a full team. 
Especially what a heal ball does, PC. So. Uh, I'll explain next episode. We're running low on time here, so. Uh, yeah. So, guys, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon White Version. This has been Matt. And Sonic Ghost. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! See you guys then. <laughs>